Green human creatures, welcome back to the show. Today, of course, it's an unboxing. What a surprise. Today's unboxing is my geek box. And somebody's already told me it's terrible. They didn't say it in so many words, they just said, ha ha, look forward to this month's my geek box, ha ha ha. So I'm guessing it's terrible. Also, someone else told me that my geek box is the worst box and that another box is better. And I was like, what have they done this month to upset you all so very, very much? Anyway, if you don't know about my geek box, let's get some details. My geek box is at £19.99. It is monthly, four to seven items and no t-shirt. <gasps> Shock, but they are supposed to be improving it. Maybe, hopefully, we'll see. We will be the judge of that. So, right, uh, let's cut it open and see what we have. Okay, um, I'm gonna put that down there, actually. Out of the way, the first item is a box. <gasps> oh, ha, ha, ha. It's a turtle figure. Yes, look at that. It's Donatello, the best. Turtle. You can argue that Donatello isn't the best turtle out of the bunch. Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael, any of them could be your favourite. But of course, you'd be wrong because Donatello is the best. Maybe I'll put a fancy transition in and we'll have a look at that. 36 years the turtles have been around, first appearing back in 1984. It's, it's a long, long time, but they were awesome and if you weren't around at the time, between the 80s and 90s, the turtles were absolutely massive. You couldn't go anywhere without seeing a turtle being hit by a turtle. Just turtles, turtles everywhere. They were taking over the world, it was ridiculous. Right, we'll just smack this out of the box. And this one is Donatello, the mad inventor of the turtles. He always had the purple mask. Originally, they were all the same colored mask. And then when they did them in color, they were like, oh, we should probably change the color so that people know who they are. He fought with the bow staff. He was the inventor. He was just like me in every single way, apart from all of them. But he was still my favorite. E keys really do seem to be the thing that my geek box are aiming for. I think they're quite nice. They're kind of pointless, but they're nice little statues and the wooden design is a nice little touch. So the first item, an e keys, and I do like it. And what else do we have in this box of wonder? We have another box, and it is, oh, oh, it's, oh, wow. It's, I don't know if you can see, you probably can't see. That's covered in dust. Did you find this down the back of your sofa? It's a big sofa if you find that down the back of it, fair play. It's absolutely covered in dust. Wow, and it's also dented and bashed. Did you pick this out of a bin? Did you, did you? Anyway, uh, it's a Q uh, you know, let's just have a look at it. This is a QFIG. These retail for about 12, 14 pounds, and this one is Jessica Jones. It's probably about a million years old by now, I would have thought. These ones have been out for ages, so you can probably pick it up for about a fiver. Basically, if you don't know who Jessica Jones is, she was like a superhero, and then she got all jaded with it. She became a cry for investigator, and then she became a superhero again. Just look at it. Okay, we'll, we'll just look at it. So here's Jessica Jones kicking down a wall. Gurra arg. She's super strong, she's nigh invulnerable. And that, she, that she's not really, she does take damage, she's just, she's invulnerable to some damage. And in the comics, she can also fly. This version is obviously based off the Netflix version, which is a fantastic TV show. You should go and watch it, and it stars that actress I can't remember the name of. It's nice, it's pretty dark, but honestly, it's a little bit dull, personally. But that could be because I've received this about 40 times already. But that's enough of that. So yes, a QFIG, as I said, the retail 12, 14 quid. Probably pick it up for a fiver from somewhere. Let's say how old it is. It, 2017, three years old now. Three years old. Still, it's a QFIG. And we're in more items await us than we have. This feels like a coin. It's definitely a coin. It's Rick and Morty. It's a Rick and Morty coin. Great. Yes, another Rick and Morty coin, which is currently on season four or something. I don't know, I got bored of it. I'm sure it's amazing, but I just don't care. So, official collectible coin, squanchy. Uh, right, let's shape this manically and get this out. If you don't know who Squanchy was, it's hard to explain. He was like a giant, well, he wasn't a giant. He was just like a human-sized orangey cat who was incredibly drunk all of the time. And then he turns into a giant beast when he drinks some liquid, and I think he may have died. Thus ends the story of Squanchy, but apparently you might want a coin of him. On the other side is the vortex, which says Rick and Morty, which I may end up screaming into after that last Q fig. And yep, finally, it would seem, the last thing is, oh dear me, <laughs> well, it's Rambo. 
Rambo, he's a man. What was the theme tune to Rambo? Rambo. It's a necklace we've had before. You're really not trying with this box, are you? John Rambo, he's a ooh, man who's angry and stuff and he kills people because I don't know, I can't remember the plot of Rambo in the slightest. Also, John Rambo is not a scary name. You might as well call him Barry Ramlad. Or thinking about it, maybe don't ever call him that and maybe never say that again, actually. Hmm. Anyway, this is a Buddha necklace replica limited edition. Uh, this was worn by the woman he fell in love with in the first film, or the second film, or maybe the third film. I don't- Right, there's first blood, there's last blood, there's like second blood. Oh no, my blood. Has anyone got some blood? They're all something like that. I can't remember. They all just merge into one big pile of blood, basically. It's a basic necklace. It's okay. Rambo movie replica necklace. These are probably like a tenner. But I think I've had about three of these before as well. So I'm less than impressed by that. So that was my Geekbox for October. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Your money's there. But it's all, I mean, this was dusty, dusty and bashed. Where have you kept that? This, I've had a million of these. This is a repeat. That's the most decent item. Question, who's your favorite turtle and why is it Donatello? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, like, subscribe, support on Patreon, do all that kind of stuff. But in the meantime, be happy, be free, keep it awesome, and I will catch you next time. Bye. -bye.